Hello, everyone. Thank you for visiting Lanksports.com. Alongside Jeff Reinhardt, I'm Keith Schweigert, and we're here to preview one of our two spotlight games for Week 7, the Section 2 rivalry showdown between Conestoga Valley and Mannheim Central. This one will kick off at 7 p.m. in Mannheim. Jeff, you're going to be blogging live from this one. Mm-hmm. CV's tied for first place yes, in Section are. 2. Mannheim Central's two games out, unbelievably. Mm-hmm. But this one still has big implications for both teams, especially when you look to the District 3 playoffs, oh, yeah. which are coming up very soon, oh, yeah. and, and where both teams are currently ranked in their PowerPoints rankings. So mm-hmm. big implications here. How do you see the two teams matching up, and how will it break down? Uh, love this rivalry. Old school. Goes back into the 80s with Contafio and Williams and the whole crew. So... Um, Huge game for CV because they love to stay in first, and you know they love to beat the Barons. Sure, <laughs> they're three and zero, and if they lose, they slip to three and four, and then they start to look like bubble for districts a little bit. Um, Mannheim Central at three and three, you just don't hear that every day. No. Well, you know, and they're struggling, and their defense just continues to haunt them. No doubt about that. And now they're going up against a hot back. Derek Burkholder rushed for. 217 yards and three touchdowns last week for CV. So looks like Central will have its hand, uh, hands full again with another hot back. We'll see if their defense responds. We've been waiting for it, and it just hasn't. So we'll see how they do with the Bucks. Old school rivalry. Old school. Yeah, I, I had my first chance to see the Barons last week against LS, and that it was a wacky kind of loss. A 60-yard fumble return for a touchdown was mm-hmm. the deciding score of the game there. I was struck by the fact that Central's defense didn't look all that bad for a lot of stretches there. I mean, they gave up a couple big plays, but they got a lot of pressure on the quarterback. Mm-hmm. They they were all over uh, LS's running backs on just about every play. Mm-hmm. And, and uh, frankly, when I looked at the box score after the game, I was surprised to see how many yards LS actually had because mm-hmm. I, I thought Central played better defensively than I was certainly expecting going in, given how much we've talked about their struggles all year long. So how how do you see Central matching up with CV? You mentioned the hot back, mm-hmm. of, but CV has had its issues up until the last couple of weeks on offense. Yeah. Now, they, they seem to have found their guy in Burkholder, but yeah, it looks like it. You know, can Central slow them down, do you think? One of the first things you said when you got back Friday night was, hey, Central's defense was a lot better than uh, yeah. than I've heard. It looks like they are improving. Still, they've given up 1,400 rushing yards, and they're giving up 345 yards right. a game. And that's both near the bottom in the league, which is mind-boggling when you really stop and think about it. So... Yeah, I mean they just got to get they just got to get better. It sounds like they're getting better every week. They're going up against another hot back. Uh, Central's at home, which is a place where they don't lose very often, and they always get up for CV. Let's face it, it doesn't matter. Central's won twenty one out of twenty two in this rivalry. Yeah. <laughs> if you want to call it that, they lead the all time series thirty to thirteen. CV won twelve seven in two thousand six. They hadn't beaten them before since 1991. Wow. And here's your fun stat. In the series, Central has outscored CV 1,029 to 577. So they've doubled them up on the scoreboard. Wow. So, yeah, that's a wow. So huge game for both teams. Central needs, Central needs wins for districts. CV needs a win to stay in first place or at least tied for first place. So very, very interesting. Yes. And, and you know, lost in all the talk that we've had about Central's defensive mm. struggles is yeah. the fact that their offense is pretty good. Oh, yeah. So do you think CV is going to be able to slow them down? Uh, they're going to have to. Uh, Chase Moyer has been great. 999 passing yards, 13 touchdowns, just one pick. Yeah. And now they got Tyler Griffith back, and he's a speed threat. He had the big run against LS, which was eventually backed up by penalties. Oops. But, yeah. uh, you know, he showed off his speed game. Central's got a lot of weapons. Hart. Artman, Spade, good. Those guys can all go get the ball. So Central needs to get hot. Central needs to, honestly, Central needs to run the table and get to 7-3 and three and get some momentum going into districts or they're not going to be around too long. Yeah, I think there's a possibility that 6-4 and four could get you in, but it's not a very strong possibility. 7-3, no, so they, they'll go. They need to run the table. Yeah, Absolutely. pretty much. Pretty much. Prediction. I'll take the Barons. Uh, they're at home. Their offense is really good. I love the way Moyer's running the show. And I just think they're going to get mad. I think they're they're very disappointed about how they lost the LS game. I think they will snap back. Central does not roll over. Uh-uh. Uh, I think they snap back, and uh, it's CV. They'll be up for the Bucks. I'll take the Barons. Yeah, absolutely. Rivalry game, as you mentioned, and you know, Central's dominated the rivalry. Mm-hmm. They don't really lose at home, and. 
I'm just not completely sold yet on CB. I mean, they they, have, they put together some nice wins sure. here, but they haven't exactly hit the meat of their schedule yet. Yeah. The meat of their schedule is the next now. four weeks. Yeah. You know, they Starts they now. run into all four of the biggest contenders in Section Two, yeah. other than themselves, yeah. uh, in successive weeks from now until the end of the season. So yeah. we'll we'll find out a lot about them in the in the coming weeks. True. But for now, I'm leaning Mannheim Central's way. Agreed. So. Don't forget, if you can't make it out to the games on Friday night, be sure to join Jeff and I here on Lanksports.com. In addition to our live blogs, we'll be bringing you updated scores from around the Le- Lancaster Lebanon League, both in the ticker that goes across the top of the main page and in our live blogs. We'll have the final scores posted within minutes of the final buzzers uh, across the, the league, and Jeff and I will also be doing a video wrapping up all of Week 7's action late on Friday night, so be sure to check that out. Thanks again for visiting the site, and enjoy the games on Friday.